All right, so how's it going, everybody? We are back in the aquarium, and it, uh, I believe the last video I up uploaded in February, I think it was, and that'd probably be, what, three months after I set up this aquarium, so close to a year since I've made, I guess, an aquarium video for this 10-gallon tank. Actually, someone commented recently, I think like a couple weeks ago, about what's going on with my aquarium, that, like, did I get rid of it or something, and nope, still here, I just hadn't made a video. I actually recorded some stuff. I, don't, I might try and add that in, but I just, like, never made videos for it, which I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, here we are. It's looking a little bit different. We got Christmas lights, because now it's December, which these have, I think, in the last video in February, uh, I had the Christmas lights up. They have not been up the entire year, which I don't really see a problem with that, but you know, whatever. So let's zoom in a little bit on the rocks. And it looks different, hopefully. Because I remember the last video, these rocks look really white, so we've got some algae and stuff. Uh, there's some coralline algae growing in here and there. Um, mostly a lot on the, barely see my finger, the pump. But the green star polyps, let's see if we can zoom in. You can kind of see the plug looking thing right here. So that's what we started with. And this is, has completely spread all the way, almost all the way over. And a little bit into the back. And as it started, it's kind of starting to come down here on the, this rock, which is exactly what I was hoping it would do. It would cover that rock and then maybe down a little bit there, and then these... I still don't remember the names of these. I just I think they're just called like green polyps. They're not zoas, which the other two things I have are. And they have taken foot over on that side. There's actually a lot more of them on the back side of it than you can see here on the front, which is cool. I like them. I think they look cool. And these are like super... These are like basic corals, pretty much. Which is all I wanted. That was, that was the only goal for this aquarium was I didn't want to go crazy. The lights still working perfect. I think they were like $25, these Zoom Med. Um, I'll have the links to all the equipment I'm using in the description. So if you want to use that so far for a year, perfect. Uh, hopefully it'll last longer than a year, but we'll see how that goes. And then the one comparison I was going to do, I think I can kind of get it a little bit. So on the right, you can see these greenish zoas and they've been spreading pretty well like i think you kind of see the plug so they've spread up to the up the rock here then up down on this rock and on the left you might notice this guy hasn't really done anything and that's because the damn plug keeps falling down every once in a while so that's pissing them off since the rock's moving around they can't attach to anything which is my fault i should glue it in or something but they have not grown even on the plug themselves. So I'm pretty sure that's why I don't think it's with the lighting because it's basically the same depth. If it, anything, it's a little bit higher up in the aquarium. So the lighting shouldn't be a factor. I'm pretty sure it's just because uh, it keeps moving around and they can't get a foot, a good stronghold on what they're growing. So I haven't added anything. That's the same stuff. And you can probably see a royal grandma in the back. Of course he's hiding. Come out. I bet if I was feeding you, you'd come out. But yeah, that is now the only fish. I believe in the last video I uploaded, I'll get into the, whatchamacallits, these damn things. Totally blanking out on what they're called. It's the bad, oh my gosh, doesn't it start with an A? I cannot think of it for my life right now. Like we got another one. Like here in the top left of the tank, we got one. And I have killed several with the needle and lemon juice. Works perfectly well. Just these were some smaller ones that, when they're really small, they are super pain to try and get the needle to like inject them with. So I waited a little bit longer till they grew a little bit bigger. So now these will be easier to kill. That one I could probably, I think you should, I think you're supposed to wear gloves if you're handling these. Cause I, not only are they like poisonous and attack cor or like 
don't let coral grow around them, I believe they can also sting you. So I'll, that one I'll probably pick out with a glove or something. And then the rest, you can see here, there's a little cluster of them. And then down, oh, now you're coming out. What's up, dude? And then down in the right, oh, move my finger, you got mad. Where's my finger? I don't know, like around here we got some. So we'll get rid of those. That's a uh, pretty easy fix. And then you can probably notice bottom right, left, kind of in the center, some red algae. So that is, oh, he's out. Are you looking at me? Um, he still does not have a name yet. So if you want to name him, leave a comment. So we're starting to talk about red algae. That, I am not sure why. Uh, I, did, I have talked to my local store, uh, saltwater store, that the one guy, I tried it and it worked, that he was like, since I don't have any light intensive corals, that if I turn the lights out for a couple of days, the fish didn't care. Uh, if I turn the lights out, limited the feeding, that the red algae would go away. And it pretty much did, but it came back. And I've been doing water changes every week, basis, every week to every other week. You know, it changes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, then that, I recently though, the past couple of months started vacuuming, like with one of those gravel vacs, the, the sand, which I never did in my old aquarium, which I still haven't set that up yet, uh, the 65 gallon. I never ever did that, so this is the first time I'm doing it. And that I can try to, but what that kind of does, it's kind of like makes like a circle. And I don't know if I should take that circle of the red algae out. I've just been bearing, you can kind of see it right here, like one of them. Like every time you like push the thing down, it just makes like a circle of red algae that since it's holding the sand together, you can kind of see it like around here. I don't know if I should take that out. To me, I don't, I don't know. Cause then you're like removing sand. I guess you could just add a little bit of sand at a time, but you don't want to like trigger the cycle thing. So I don't know that I'm gonna have to actually look up but I believe it's a current kind of thing with the way I have this rock structure that you can see I have the pump back here on the right. That's well, kind of, it's kind of dark, but it's blowing water this way across the aquarium. And over here in the top left, uh, can't see it's too dark, kind of see it. The hang on back filter uh, right there. Actually, you can see the blue. So that's like pushing water kind of this way towards the camera. So that's like a little bit of flow there, but what I'm noticing is that like here and then like somewhat here is like the current's not making it around the rock structure. So I believe the fix to it is I need to rearrange the rock structure to allow water flow to come complete like a full circle basically so that, and I don't, I do not overfeed it at all. Like I just give this guy a couple of uh, the pellets not really pellets, small pellets, you know what I mean? Like, not flakes, but like, well, pellets of uh, food. So I'm pretty sure it's not an overfeeding thing. My water parameters are, maybe that could be a bad thing. They're basically perfect. Like I've never had, I have my own test kit and everything. No problem with that. So that kind of seems fishy to me, maybe, that I have perfect water. So that, and like, my old aquarium, I did have a red algae thing. I can't remember the stuff it was. I think it was like a little powder that you put in and that completely got rid of the red algae. So maybe I just got to do that. But I don't really like the look of it, the red algae. Um, the green algae, I don't really mind. There's like some, can't really see from this angle, but in the back right corner, I mean, not a lot. You can see the reflection kind of right here. Some, but like, if you've ever been in the ocean, the sand in the floor of the ocean isn't crystal clear, perfect white sand. So to me, that doesn't really bother me. In an aquarium, yes, that would, it looks nice, don't get me wrong, like if you had completely white sand, that, that looks nice, but some algae in it, that's just a natural thing. So I'm not too worried about that. If it was like damn everywhere, um, that would be a problem. So then, 
I think I started to get into the fish and then got distracted by the algae. So yes, we only have one fish now. I believe in the last video, we had the two clownfish and we just added in this royal grandma and I had a shrimp. So those are no longer in the aquarium. Um, the first clownfish that I bought together as a pair, I'm really sad about. Those were like really cool. I specifically bought those two. The guy said they weren't like a mated pair or anything like that, but when I saw them in the store, they were both hanging around with each other and they definitely had like charisma or something to it, like a personality, I'd say, because like they're always, I don't know, they're just funny fish, so I liked them, I got them. And uh, we had those in there and they did fine, I think, two months, three months. And then what the one happened, like I said, I've had perfect water parameters or anything. What I believe happened is the one clownfish would always sleep in like the top left corner and the other clownfish would sleep in the top right corner at night whenever the lights would go out. So I've always had that pump there and the one night my lights just went out. I have them on a timer that uh, manually I have to turn the white lights on. Like when I have them on the timer, they, they come on with the blue lights. So I, manually I wait, uh, okay, I don't do it every damn day uh, at an hour, but I try to let at least an hour, sometimes it's two hours more if I'm busy doing something. Um, that's what's super pain about this lights that you can't time them. But I, I try to do aim for an hour of blue lighting, then come over, turn on the white lighting manually. So the one time um, I forgot, and all the lights turned out, both, both the white and blue light, lighting turned out. So what I think happened with the clownfish is when that happened, he was like, oh, sleep time, and tried to like dart up into the corner. Because basically the next day I found him sucked against the pump. And there's nothing wrong with the water or anything, so that's why I think that happened. So fast forward a few months later, I guess. Um, I don't really know the time frame. The other clownfish died and he jumped out of the aquarium. I have no idea why. Um, all, all, both of them eating fine, everything. They look normal in it, they just literally died. The one committed suicide, the other one, super unlucky, got sucked against the filter. Shrimp, no idea. Had, I've had him, he actually died probably a month or two ago, I believe. Um, yeah, what is that? February to two months ago? Like six, eight months, something like that? It looked fine. He was molting everything, shedding his skin, um, which I read that means it, they are healthy, that as long as they're molt, molting and stuff, that they're happy scrimp and eating fine, everything. Found them the one day, next day, dead. No idea why. One thing I will say, I don't know if our little purple friend here is a bully. I don't know. He always sleeps like in the, you kind of see here under the rock, but it's like a little in the back. You like, kind of interesting. He kind of like carved out his own place in the sand. Um, he sleeps back there. I don't know if maybe he bullied the others. I never saw, actually one time I saw him nip at the one clownfish. That was the only time I ever seen him do like anything um, like that. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, so he's been by himself for a few months now. Um, plans for this? I don't know. Maybe add in a shrimp. Uh, I could try the six line wrasse. That was one of the fish I always wanted to add in here because I had one of my old 65 gallon tank. I love that kind of fish, it was really cool. Maybe try one clown fish, I don't know. But for the time being, I haven't really thought about adding anything. Um, I'm just happy with this. It's always fun to look at, fun to mess with. And I guess that's the tank update. Still deciding on what to do with the 65 gallon. It's basically ready to go. All it is, actually, I probably have enough salt left to do one or two more water changes for this, like three, four gallons. And I'm debating on whether I just buy the five gallon bucket full of salt that I would need to fill up the 
65 gallon tank and also I'd have some left over for this that uh, if I should go ahead and do that because that's basically all it's I have it set up I built a stand for it and everything I kind of gotta paint it make it look a little bit nicer than it is um, which I'll save that for a video of doing that specifically and I gotta make water for it and find what kind of lighting I want because I actually I was thinking of doing the same lighting, this Zoomed lighting. I can't really show it. It's like this sit on the top. I mean, I showed it in the previous. You can kind of see it right there. And for the lighting for the that tank, I think it's 36 inches long. So I haven't decided on the lighting thing. Um, that's basically all. I need. And then I got to buy sand and some rocks. When I do that, though, uh, I want to do completely new, like, dry sand, dry rock, everything completely new, because the one thing I didn't, I, I don't know if I have a video, maybe I will, I'll try and add it in. I think this video is getting kind of long anyway. But uh, on the one plug, it had some like green, like a leaf kind of algae, and that, <laughs> that spread, that was like this whole rock right here, this whole side was covered in like leaf green um, and algae. So that kind of turned me off, which I should have dipped the corals. That's another thing I'm going to do once I do set up the bigger aquarium. Um, I want to try and keep everything clean from the outside kind of deal. So I want to do like dry sand, dry rock. It'll take longer for stuff, but that to me, I can wait. I don't have a problem. That's why you don't want to ever rush anything with salt water uh, or even fresh water. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, don't, I shouldn't even say that. I, I don't have, I don't know anything about fresh water. <laughs> But it would make sense to me if I did fresh water. Um, yeah, just wait with everything. That's what uh, that's what we're at right now. Tank's still going strong. Fortunately, clowns and the cleaner shrimp died. I, I liked them. They were cool. Maybe we'll add in another cleaner. Maybe a clown or the six line rasp. I don't know. One guy was telling me that the, like the six line rafts should always be the last one because they're kind of aggressive. So maybe that's what, if this guy is aggressive, I don't know. Like I said, I've only seen him like nip at the clownfish I had, that were in there one time. So I don't know. Um, he never seemed to do anything. But yeah, Cram's chilling. And I'll definitely make a separate video for whenever we set up the... 65 gallon, so that'll be fun. To me, setting up aquariums is pretty fun to do. Whoever's watching this, do you have an aquarium? What kind of aquarium you got? Fresh salt water? Let me know, how's your aquarium going? Hopefully well. And then, a little purple guy, be chilling. Till next time.